Hello, this is uh, Guy Spoiler from JoeBlow.com. How are you guys doing today? Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, you know, I wanted to ask, I guess, uh, you know, for you, Mati, it's like having to, you know, you were a fan favorite in Army of the Dead, uh, one of my favorite characters in the movie. And I was kind of wondering what it was like for you finding out about this, that you're going to be able to kind of expand on him and like learn about kind of where he came from and how he ended up, ended up in that movie. Am I muted? Yeah, so I have to say, you know, I was I was first uh, when uh, Zach wanted to talk to me, and there was this idea of a prequel. I was super nervous because I wanted it to to be, you know, like to to happen. You know that you know uh, that uh, that it was real. And then when uh, uh, we received the first draft, I was like super confident and proud because it 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 yeah. To be honest, I loved Dieter too. I loved this character. I loved I loved when. Um, Zach and Shay came up with the first ideas of his origin story and especially the center of this, this the ring cycle, you know, this, this these legendary safes. So, uh, hey, I was the luckiest boy in the world on that day when Zach said, Matthias, come over. I have to talk to you. Yes, sir. Give you <laughs> Uh, Zach, I was, I was curious. I, I mean, I loved Army of the Dead and I love this too. I was kind of curious, like, where in the development process of Army of the Dead did the idea of this kind of come together? Was it always something you wanted to do or did you kind of realize while you were doing Army of the Dead that well, you wanted we, to? We had the idea to do a um, spinoff before we started shooting. We didn't know what it would be, but we had, we thought, okay, we could do a, like a, we thought it'd be foreign language, you know, complete foreign language, single market films you know, that would be kind of small and kind of in market for different Netflix territories. That was the original sort of concept. And then when we watched, and then Matthias says, and then, and well, frankly, when we wrote this, con we wrote this big scene, I wrote that big scene for the Matthias's intro uh, to tell the story of the safe, right? Uh, and the Gotra Damarong and everything. So, but once we wrote, once, once, I watched him perform the scene, did I realize that, okay, well, Dieter's the guy. Not only is Dieter the guy, but like, he just told me the story of the movie that we need to go make. Because like, maybe at the time, when I was writing it, I didn't realize how kind of compelling and central to the movie that mythology is. And so it was kind of that, that moment when, when I watched him perform that scene, was when it really started to click to me that like, yeah, that could be the movie. And then, you know, we developed it. And then by the time, you know, we had an idea, I was able to like pull him aside and say like, hey, would this be a thing you'd want to do if we could put it together? And then he was like, frankly, no, no. Fra <laughs> frankly, frankly, one other thing that happened was, and then through the strength of the idea and his performance and the kind of movie itself, did we go like, you know, more English, more English. And then it turned into like, now it's like this kind of movie that, certainly um, is not, um, though hopefully enjoyed in Germany um, and loved by the entire country, every single person in the country. Um, right. It will also, you know, I feel like it has, you know, now it's like, uh, it's just, a, it's like a global movie now in a lot of ways. Yeah, I think, I think the, the, there's definitely some universal appeal there. I mean, I, just the, the the scope of it and just the cast the chemistry like it was just so fun to watch and like i, I think everyone all over the world will enjoy it um, yeah just i feel like it's going to be just a little bit bigger than uh, squid game just a little bit bigger, bigger. Like that. bigger. that's like you gotta, you gotta shoot, i mean look shoot, but... you know <laughs> that did pretty that did okay so if we can yeah. do that good, it'd be great. Uh, i'm kind of curious you know because I, I i have a minute left I, I mean i love watching these characters like so much i mean i want to know from you or from either one of you was there is there like a plan to like explore these characters again in another project there's always some... a plan to explore these characters more I okay think. yeah there's never not a plan to, like, that's, that's that little, right? <laughs> there's never not a plan never not a plan <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, because like look frankly you know we talked about you know Dieter we don't see him die on camera bring him back <laughs> right well you know they wrap me up right now but uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys and uh the movie is great I'm, i can't wait for everyone to see it and enjoy it i'm happy for you both thank you so much ready
set, and crack! Ludwig Dieter. Safe cracker extraordinaire. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner! We've been watching you. I belong to a crew that executes international bank heists, and we want to recruit you. Why me? I am not criminal. The world's distracted. This window of opportunity isn't just our only chance, it's yours. My only chance of what? A life less ordinary. I'd like you to meet the team. Karina. Our master hacker. Rolf. Our getaway driver. And last but not least, our very own real-life action hero, Mr. Brad Cage. So, is it like in a movie film where each one of us has a different skill set and it's only working together that we can pull off that which needs the pulling off? Yes, it's exactly like that. We've assembled from various sources the locations of the three saves. The Rheingold. The Valkyrie. The Siegfried. All of them are under the ownership of infamous billionaire Balai Tanaka. Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. I did it! I did it! I did it! Thank you very much. Go, go, go! Let's move! This is about becoming legends. What are you doing? I'm warming up my instruments.